What is the correct view from obviously your perspective on the place of substitution in our understanding of salvation? Yeah. So, I mean, we would understand that term substitution in, in the sense of, or we could understand that term substitution in the sense of Christ offering on our behalf. Um, I think that we would say more on our behalf rather than in our place. Yeah. So um, the idea of him offering a sacrifice in our place means that he does it, and then it has nothing to do with us. His sacrifice has nothing to do with us. Um, but when we say that Christ offered his sacrifice on our behalf, actually there's um, an ancient church father, um, Polycarp, who's one of the earliest and most famous like Christian bishop martyrs uh, from the second century. Um, he wrote an epistle, which we still have, um, which, uh, in which he says that uh, Jesus Christ is the earnest money of our righteousness. And that's actually what it says in Greek, the earnest money of our righteousness. If you think about earnest money, earnest money is, you know, you could also talk about a down payment, but it's it's a way when you make a pledge, specifically like if you're making a pledge to buy a house. If you make an offer on a house, you also have to put forward some earnest money, which is a demonstration that you're serious about this pledge. Um, likewise, when you take a loan from the bank, you need to have a down payment to show that you're serious about that pledge to repay the, the loan. Um, Christ is that expression of seriousness on behalf of um, those human beings who put their faith in him. He's like the, the first offering that demonstrates um, a serious intention to um, just totally sell out to God and belong to God and, and die to sin. That's another way that St. Paul says it, die to sin in order to live for God. Um, and so... Uh, Christ, through his sacrifice, he inaugurates a way or a path of sacrifice for all of us then to follow, to take up our own crosses and follow him. His, the purpose of his cross is in order to enable us to take up our own crosses and follow him in offering to God that same obedience and faithfulness that he offered. This episode is sponsored by christianministryedu.org. Chances are, if you watch my videos, you love theology, and maybe you've even thought of pursuing a degree in it. But it can be difficult knowing where to start, which degrees to look at, which schools, and how you're gonna fit it into your busy schedule. That's where christianministryedu.org comes in. It's a one-stop shop for degree and career guidance and it is structured to help you find schools and career paths that match your spiritual mission. With program and career guides that span across Christian leadership and ministry positions, you'll be able to make an informed decision about your specific calling to serve. Learn more about how you can gain the tools to pursue your faith-based future today at christianministryedu.org.